Hey guys, today we're gonna head on over to the BLM's online corral. So I've got my laptop here and we're gonna go take a look and see what horses are available. Now, if you're new to the Mustang world, the online corral is one of the ways that you can adopt a wild Mustang. I've got a video on, several videos on the online corral and one video which I'll link right here that talks about all the different ways that you can adopt a Mustang. So feel free to check all that out. But yeah, we're just gonna dive right into this. So I posted on YouTube asking um, people to share their favorites or horses they were following. So we're gonna kind of just pull some of these up right now. Um, this idea just came to me. Literally, I was out mucking and it popped into my head, so I apologize for not very giving a very big notice. Um, I do plan on doing a follow-up. I'll do a part two of this video, so if you haven't um, put in your favorites, <laughs> I'll try to get to them. So first up, we've got Paige with 2300. So we're not gonna head on over to the available animals. That is the tag number. And again, that's the last four digits of the freeze mark. So we're gonna punch that in here and take a look. All right, so we've got a two-year-old gelding and I'm gonna go right down into the video here. We'll make this full screen, take a look. All right, well, it's snowing. Curious what facility this is at. Um, and when this was, that's a really big two-year-old. Wow. This is probably filmed sometime in the winter, I'm guessing, <laughs> hence the snow. I'm curious what location this is, but that means this horse is, I don't know, depending on when it was born, they, their birthdays through the BLM are listed as January 1st. So even though, you know, at the, at the time this was recorded, it may not actually be a two-year-old. Um, so let's take a look here and see, 14-1. Okay, that explains it, this horse is, going to be a big one. Height date is February 6, um, 2023. So, so yeah, it's a little under two years old, likely. From Divide Basin, eligible for adoption, completely untrained. Yeah, and I wonder if this statement is here. Wheatland off-range corral reopening press release. Oh, there was a, one of the corrals was closed. The Wheatland off-range corral is reopening for wild horse and burrows adoptions this spring after year-long closure. Okay, so this off-range corral, which is short-term holding, these horses are available for adoption, reopened earlier in the spring. And that explains why um, some of the past online corrals were just so big and massive, was because of the reopening of this. So this horse is also from that same corral. I wonder why it was closed. I don't recall why it was closed. You know, we're now on a rabbit trail. Why was the Wheatland corral? closed. Okay, so it looks like the Wheatland Corral was closed in spring 2022 due to strangles, which is an upper respiratory infection in horses. It's very contagious um, and one of the more common infectious diseases with horses. So yeah, so they closed it down so there was no horses coming or leaving. From what I'm seeing here, just really briefly looking into this, 19 horses um, have died since the infection was first detected. Anyway, that's very interesting. I'd love to dive more into that, but I wanna stay on topic. All right, we'll go on to the next one here. 2902. Ooh, that one's really pretty. It's a done, three-year-old done. So same thing, we're gonna go right into the video here. Okay, wow, she is really pretty. She's pretty nervous though. She's, yeah, pretty on edge here. Um, they have someone, they often have someone standing across the fence and they are trying to show a little bit of the movement, um, you know, because adopters are viewing these horses from afar usually, so. Oh my goodness, look at these photos. But I'm just saying like that person standing there is probably just adding to some stress. Um, all right, so she is 14-2 from Divide Basin as well, Divide Basin <laughs> as well. So you can see right here, yeah, her neck tag is 2902, and that's the last four digits of the freeze mark there. All right, let's go on to the next one here. So we've got Liz. We'll start with the top two that she's got here. So we have 3518, so. All right, so this guy's also from the Wheatland facility. So because it was closed a full year, I'm guessing that these horses have been in holding for quite some time. So I'm, I'm curious when his capture date was. Um, I bet it's been at least a couple years. All right, so capture date, October 20th, 2021. So he's been in holding for almost two years now, coming up on two years, um, also from Divide. So he's 14 hands high. He is a nine-year-old bay. I'm not at all surprised. I know Liz has a heart for some of the, well, this isn't super old, but has a heart for some of the older ones. And I know she loves bays, so not surprised at all. All right, so the person is gone and no longer standing across the fence. All 
I like how he's responding. You can never really tell from these videos, but I like how you can see him start to get stressed a little bit, but he comes down pretty quickly from that. Um, just shows a lot of thought. Um, again, these are just videos, you can't always tell, but um, very cute. All right, let's see the other one here. We've got 7308, a seven year old female with super cute facial markings. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's very cute. This one is 14-2, triple B. She's also from Wheatland. So let's take a, again, let's take a little look at the, she was, oh my goodness. She was captured August 3rd, 2020. So she's been in holding almost three years, three years. That's crazy. So that's almost half of her life, guys. Like she's a seven year old. So three of those years have been in holding. Wow. All right, so she needs a home. Let's take a look. She's beautiful. Let's run a different camera angle now. I'm always curious. I'm very curious about how they do these things and you know why they switch the angles and I'm guessing because maybe they've sent in horse yeah you can see the way this um, round pen is designed you can see different shoots leading in so I guess they just changed which one they were pulling in horses from cute love her she's adorable I hope she finds a really good home all right we're just gonna keep moving forward here two nine four eight a 12 year old so she is a bay another bay Liz likes her bays eligible for sale so she's older than 10 so she, that means she's sale authority um, so you still have to do an application but it's I guess it's an application for sale rather than adoption so she was gathered October 10th 2021 so she's been in holding almost two years now take a look at her video I love the color the what do you call it when they have the the muzzle that fades out I love that it's really cute she looks tall what, what was her height I can't remember I'll look in a second she looks really tall. It might just be her build, but let's take a look. She's 14'2". Okay. Eligible for sale. All right, next one, 3092. Let's take a look at this guy. It looks like, it looks like the ear. You could get frostbite on the ear or something. It's kind of hard to see. Wow, pretty. She's cute. Yeah, it looks like the tips of her ears are not present. So frostbite, bite, I don't know, probably frostbite. So she was gathered again back in October of 2021. She's 14-1 and she's a four-year-old. All right, so moving on, we have 4165. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That face, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. All right, so six-year-old Greg Gilding, let's take a look at the video. Yeah, so the guy crossed on the pen, he's just trying to keep it, keep him moving. Again, they're just trying to help adopters just see how they move so they can make a decision from afar. Again, it's not always perfect though, but that's why they're, they're doing that and standing there. Which you have to keep in mind because sometimes when they appear nervous, it's what is going on behind the scenes that sometimes we don't always see. All right, so he, see, he's 14 hands. He's from Adobe Town, Wyoming. And he was gathered um, December 1st, 2021, so. All right, so we're gonna go look at some of the colored horses here. Without a doubt, the colored horses or larger horses, or if they're colored and large, they tend to go for a little bit more money than the plainer horses or the little horses. Yeah, there are a lot of hidden gems that get overlooked because a bay horse, for example, in the midst of all these other bays or with these really flashy horses that stand out, you know, it's easy to overlook them. But once you get them home, once you groom them, once you work with them, they are beautiful. They're stunning. They carry their own beauty. They really have that presence. But in a large auction like this, it's easy to overlook them. You know, it, if you have a heart for adopting one of those horses, then do it. But at the same time, I personally don't have a problem with people adopting a colored horse or a larger horse, a horse that fits what they're looking for. Over the course of its life, a horse costs thousands and thousands of dollars. If you're gonna keep that horse for a lifetime, then I think it's totally fine to get what you want. Yeah, I personally don't have a problem with it. Some people are like, 
very opinionated on this stuff. Anyway, we're gonna look at some of the colored horses. So my favorite colors for horses, okay, so I love Pintos, I love Palominos, Grias, Buckskins, but I like to the thought of combining it, so I love Pintos, but if I'm gonna have a Pinto, I feel like I want like a Palomino Pinto, or a Buckskin Pinto, or a Gruya Pinto. I want something that's like combining two. You know, if I could have two horses in one, that way I have less horses, um, <laughs> but that's just me. So we're gonna look at some of my favorites. So Gruya, Palomino, Pinto. When you're looking in this auction, instantly there are some photos that you're just drawn to more, but Remember from the photography angle, this horse right here, you can see its face. When you can see the face and the facial features, you, you tend to be more attracted to it. So this horse will probably get a lot more clicks than a horse that has a bad profile image. So anyway, so let's look at this one since we're in it. So it's an eight-year-old Palomino. She is tag 2752. She is 13.3. Um, her height was just measured. She's eight years old, so she's she's a little horse, but she's beautiful. Um, she's from Salt Wells Creek, Wyoming. She's been in holding since November of 2021, so coming coming up on two years. Now we'll look at this one right here. So this one is not as clear of a profile image. It's further out. It's muddy. You know, there's a lot of factors in here. Just not a great image. The horse is muddy. It's dark. It's amazing what a good camera, sunshine, and a clear image, it's amazing what that can do to change your initial perception. All right, so this one is also from Wheatland. Aw, scared baby. Okay, there's a person behind the sign there. All right, so two-year-old gelding, 13-2, height was taken in February. All right, let's see what else we have here. Wanna look at a burrow? Let's look at a burrow. All right, so we have a five-year-old Pinto gelding here. Has anyone had a burrow? I'm curious if any of you have or anyone gentled a burrow. I haven't yet. Um, someday I might though, we'll see. From Seven Troughs HMA, gathered August 10th, 2022, height 12 hands. Moving on here. All right, so let's take a look at a Gruya here. Oh, another one with like the ear tips. Um, the tips of the ears missing. This is a five-year-old mare. Ooh. I love primitive markings. I really love them. So dorsal stripe, leg, leg stripes. Wow. I like this horse. All right, where is she from? It's 14-2. Her height was just recent in May. She's five from Divide Basin. Let's see what the tallest horse here is. So let's see if there's any over 16 hands. We'll start with that. None. All right, anything over 15 hands. Okay, so we have seven here that are available that are over 15 hands. So let's look at the first one here. This fellow, okay, first of all, this fellow is stunning. The color on this guy, Amazing. So he's 10 years old, so he's a little bit older, but um, 15 hands here. This place, Carson City, they do like all their photos in these shoots, which is not for the best photos, but the nice benefit is they do show them in this shoot so you can confirm height, which is really helpful, but not the most flattering photos. This guy is adorable. He's really, he's gonna be so pretty. So he was gathered almost three years ago in September of 2020. So I hope he gets a, a good home. Okay, so let's see if we can find the shortest horse here. So when I put in 12 hands, obviously the burrows popped up, but I'm gonna look at the horses and there's only one horse. So this is the smallest horse. It's a two-year-old. All right, we have to look at the date the height was taken. That's important. Okay, the height was taken in February. Oh my goodness. So cute, baby. It's snowing. Aw. The color is very vibrant though. Really, really cute little girl. All right, so she was born, oh my goodness guys, this one was born in holding. So her, we know her birthday is March 24th. 
2021. So she's two, so she's been in holding her whole life. That's sad. Okay, that makes me curious. Like how many babies here were born in holding? So if we look at animal origin, so I'm gonna clear, clear the deck here, reset. We're gonna look at animal origin, born at facility, search. So these are all Mustangs that were born in the facility. Um, oh my goodness. Nine-year-olds? Okay. Sorry, guys. I... Wow, I didn't expect to have this reaction. Um, man. Okay, so these horses, there's three of them. They're nine years old. They've been born in holding. That's crazy. So let's take a look at these horses. Oh my gosh, if, if I could bid. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look. So, um, I wonder if they're sale authority. No, they're for adoption. Why, why have they been in holding for nine years? Why? I don't understand, I don't, this is what I don't understand. I don't understand why, I don't, yeah. <laughs> Speechless. Okay, so, all right, I'll get it together. Um, all right, so we have a nine-year-old mare here. Um, that's just sad, sad. Okay, moving on. Um, yeah, she's been in holding her whole life, guys. <sighs> she's 14 too. She was born in Rock Springs Preparation Facility. Let's take a look at her video. beautiful it's like why why hasn't she been adopted like what why 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 has she been holding this long so this is tag 0876 she needs an amazing loving home green pastures buddies lots of space someone kind-hearted please adopt her all right and her birthday we know her birthday is June first 2014 so let's go to see this other nine-year-old it's a nine-year-old brown female also from Wheatland she's 14 one she's eligible eligible for sale again she's been in holding her whole life guys take a look at her video it's sad that this is like all that she's ever known you know it's really sad Okay, so she's tag 0880. So she's sale authority. So sale authority horses, um, they're not protected in the same way that an adoption horse is. So when you adopt a Mustang for one year, they're untitled, it means that they're still government property. These ones go immediately, ownership goes immediately from the government to the buyer. So anything can happen to her after she is bought. She's kind of, I would say kind of a higher risk horse um, because of that. Again, tag 0880. All right, we got another nine-year-old female. So I'm just gonna highlight all these nine-year-olds because what happened? Why? Why are they here? This just makes me sad because like nine years in a holding facility, like nine years, their whole life, this is all they've ever known. That's really sad. I don't know. Okay, so she is, this is a nine-year-old. This is tag 0901. Um, she's 14 hands. Wait a minute here. So she had, I forgot to mention the other horse's birthday. Um, let me go back. I'm sorry, really quick. This is oddly suspicious. They all have the same birthday. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Maybe there's some kind of mistake here. I hope this, this is, yeah, this is very odd. Very, very odd. I hope they, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not gonna comment, but yeah, that's suspicious. Anyway, so 
They say her birthday is June 1st, the three of them. All three, born on June 1st, 2014. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I don't know. What am I supposed to think? I don't know. Um, this one is eligible for adoption. <sighs> okay. They all have like really short tails. Poor thing. Anyway, um, I hope this, maybe it's a mistake. It could possibly be a mistake. I hope that's not, I hope this isn't the case um, that they were, have all been in holding this long. <laughs> but that was really upsetting to me seeing that. Um, I'm a little bit confused. So, you know, people make mistakes. Maybe there, there is an error in the system. Maybe not. Maybe they really have been in holding this long. Um, I just found that pretty upsetting, so. Yeah, this, that was kind of a, a deflate. Um, yeah. All right, so I think that's it for this video. If you have any horses you want me to look at, feel free to comment them down below. And I might do a part two to this video. Who knows? We'll see. But I'll definitely do a follow-up after the auction and just kind of check back in and see how things went. Um, if you're curious about the internet auction and just want some more information, I have a video, I'll link right here with some tips and tricks for the auction. How many times can I say auction? <laughs> All right. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.